Welcome back to Stockholm's Groove. I'm Eric Haney, and today we have Ronnie Friend. So the song's called Rosary, and I just want to say, Ronnie, you're an excellent piano player, Thank and it's you. what a great song. And I know that our viewers have enjoyed listening to the song. So I would love to know who are some of your inspirations as as far as songwriting goes. Songwriting. Yeah. Um, There's a lot, really. I Probably the biggest. I've been a huge fan, and he's also my biggest inspiration in piano, is Elton John. And uh, his songwriting um, is that he just writes the music. He has a lyricist. He works with a lyricist mm. named Bernie Taupin. Mm, and so okay. I, I have listened to their music since I was a kid. Oh. And I... I just grew up with the songs. That's how I learned to play piano was was listening to Elton John songs and playing, just playing along. So cool. And so as I did that, I, I sort of, and it's actually two, it's, it's their songwriting, what they do together, and he forms the music around these lyrics. And so that, that taught me, you know, just learning all of his songs taught me how to do that. Yeah. Um, so in terms of songwriting, because mostly I write music, I do occasionally write lyrics. I, I, they're not as good as as some of the things. I prefer to work with the lyricist, who's like okay. a, can write poetry, and and I, um, I've done that from time to time. But I do l write lyrics occasionally as well. Um, but um, yeah, so the Elton John Bernie Taupin songwriting partnership—that's kind of my biggest inspiration in terms of over many years of, of uh, when I'm writing yeah. songs. Yeah, well, what, a, what an encouragement to our songwriters. Um, I know a lot of them out there, they, they can write music, and you're an excellent piano player, and some of them are excellent musicians, but the lyrics sometimes don't come. So what a, yeah. what a great thing to connect. And you say some that write poetry yeah. and, and also lyrics. Mm -hmm. So what, that's a great songwriting process. Yeah, it works well for me, and it's often... Um, it's often what inspires me to write a song because you know, I always have kind of an urge to write, to create, a passion about it, but maybe I don't know exactly what to write about. Mm. But then someone will give me a lyric that means something to them okay. and it, it just it pushes me in a direction and it pushes me further than I would have gone if I had just tried to come up with something on my own. Yeah. And so it's, it's, very, uh, it's very creative and very fruitful for me to do mm, it that way. Mm, mm, mm. Totally, yeah, totally. And um, one of the things I was going to ask you as well is, you know, how do you choose which, which poems or which lyricists to work with? Do you, do you have a, a, like a set group of people that you work with or do they send you, um, like, like, like say there's a, a poet listening like, man, Ronnie, I understand what you're saying. Could I send you my song or, my, I mean, my, my lyrics? So how do you choose which one? I've done that occasionally. Usually it's been um, someone that we're pretty good friends or something. There's okay. been different periods in my life when I've written with different people. But it's, it's, been, it's usually been um, someone that I'm good friends with and, you know, that, that we have some sort of connection. Sure. But th it has happened occasionally that someone said, you know what, I, I need to sing a song at my sister's wedding. I wrote these words. Can you set them to music? I've actually done that kind of thing wow. a few times. Uh, I was playing in a band in New York City for a while and I wrote, I wrote songs with the bass player. Oh, nice. He would come up with lyrics. So it's been, it's been a lot of different situations. In the last couple of years, I've had this Swedish friend that um, we connected by, she actually plays music as well and writes her own songs. Oh, wow. But, and she also writes poetry that's unconnected to music, but we just kind of became a fan of each other's music, and she started giving me lyrics, and that she said, I didn't do anything with this, why don't you try it? And it turned into something, and she was pleased, I was pleased, mm -hmm. I really like her style, and so for the past two, three years, I've been writing to her lyrics, and so probably most times in my life it's been, okay, now I'm writing with this person, and then... You know, maybe it's been another person for another set of years or something. And, yeah. uh, but it, like I said, there's been the one-off kind of situation, too, that someone says, I wrote this lyric, can you do something with it? Yeah. Sometimes this works. Sometimes I had to come back and say, <laughs> no, it didn't work. <laughs> but uh, usually it's a good, it, it works well for me because it, it's, when I, when I read a lyric, you know, especially if it's good and it <laughs> connects with me in a special way, it's like, it brings something out of me that wasn't there. Oh, you know, yeah, it's wow. like 
maybe I had some musical ideas and then it'll take it to a new level. So it's exciting for me to do that. Wow, wow. Well, so I get I, one, one last really quick question and then we're going to talk about maybe some places where people can hear you play. Um, as far as w when you're writing the music, you know, how long do you have to, to look over the lyric to know this is a good lyric or this is maybe something that I can't write? Do you have um, maybe some piano parts written out that you think about or how do you... No, it, ha it happens uh, usually fairly quickly. Okay, yeah. Usually, and I have to confess, there, usually, the usual case is I'll get a lyric, I don't even read the whole thing. Okay, it, I, I read okay. the beginning and it's like, oh, okay, this is going to go somewhere. Nice. And I just I sort of take those opening lines and just try to find something yeah. musically and just play around with it, start singing. And instead of reading the poem, reading okay. the lyric, I sing it. Oh, nice. And sometimes I have a complete song in 10 minutes. Wow. Like reading, sometimes it takes days. Sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, well, no, that didn't work. Let me <laughs> rework that. No, I, I'm, you know, and sometimes I change from a ballad to like a disco dance. I mean, it complete. But I've actually had occasions when it's like, I set down the lyric, it, the song just literally came out of my hands and voice. Oh, wow. Like it was just like from somewhere above or something. It was just, and so it happens. And, and it's, it's, for me, it's just a, it's a process that just, it's hard to predict always, but uh, so I don't analyze too much. I give it That's a try. Good. Okay. It's sort of like my way of reading a lyric or a poem yeah. is just okay. Will this work with me? And if it doesn't work, then I, you know, I'll try for a while and then maybe just give up. But yeah, yeah. Most of the time it works. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, Ronnie, we're so grateful for your time today. Oh my pleasure. Ronnie, friend, and do you have somewhere that people can can go and hear your music online or? Uh, I have a YouTube site where I Perfect. have uh, most of my current original songs, and it's Ronnie Friend Music, all okay. one word, on we'll YouTube. Have a, we'll have a link for that right at okay. the bottom. Okay. And um, otherwise, I'm here at Barra V almost every Monday night, play a couple of songs, and um, yeah. yeah, yeah, doing some other things occasionally, but nothing really yeah. regular. But cool. uh, yeah. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, you're welcome, and thank yeah. you so much, Ronnie. Yeah, my Look pleasure. Look forward to having you um, interviewed again here in the future.